Hello and welcome to the Electric Typewriter. My name's Amber and in today's tutorial, we're going to talk about how to back up and recover items on your Mac. Let's get started. If you haven't already purchased a drive, there's two types of drives that you'll see on the market, desktop and laptop. While they both essentially work the same, you'll find that you'll get more value for your money with a desktop drive. The one downside to this is that they're not easy to travel with, as they tend to be a bit heavier and do need to stay plugged in to receive power. Prices for external drives have certainly gone down over the years, and some of the best places to find a great deal are Best Buy, Costco, and of course, Amazon. All right, go ahead and plug in your hard drive to your Mac, and you'll see it on your desktop. Here you have your desktop hard drive and the orange icon is the backup drive. I've double clicked on it to make sure that there's nothing on this drive and it looks completely empty. The drive that you have purchased may have some software installed on it, but we'll shortly clear that off. All right, let's go ahead and close that window. And now we're gonna go to the menu bar at the top of our screen. Click on tools, then utilities, and look for the Disk Utility application. Double click to open up. And here we have some information about the hard drive on our computer. Now one thing with this utility, you need to be very careful. You'll see external, which is our hard drive, and then internal. And the internal drive is actually the drive inside your computer. So we have an erase button, but we don't want to hit that on our internal drive. All right, so I'm going to select my external drive, hit erase, give it a name, and say choose. And this may take a few minutes. I've gone ahead and sped this part up. And we have one more step before we're completely set up. Let's go to the Apple in the top left hand corner and click on system preferences. Look for Time Machine in the fourth row. Time Machine is a really awesome application that will automatically back up everything on your computer. As you can see, I already have a backup set up on this computer, but you can have more than one backup if you'd like. To set up another backup, click on Select Disk and find your hard drive. You'll see that the computer prompts me if I'd like to switch my backup. I'm gonna say use both in this case. However, if this is the first time that you've set up a backup, you won't receive this prompt. Here I can see all of my backups and that everything is turned on. And just like that, I have everything set up. If I click on the little time icon in the top right hand corner, I can see that Time Machine is in fact set up. This is also where we can enter Time Machine. I'll explain that here in just a moment. One important thing to remember is that you should always eject your drive once you're finished using it. To do so, just simply right click on the drive and say eject. All right, I've gone ahead and plugged in my existing backup drive and you can see by double clicking on it, I have quite a bit already on here. However, this isn't the best way to access your files. Instead, let's use Time Machine. To access Time Machine, look for the backwards clock icon at the top of your screen and click on it. Then you'll want to hit Enter Time Machine. This program is super cool, it looks very futuristic. And you can see on the right hand side I have a ton of different dates. These are all my different backups on the computer. I can choose one simply by clicking on the line. Or I can look for a folder or file that I want to recover. So what I'm going to do here is go to my downloads folder. Let's pretend that I have something that I deleted and I want to get back. I'll select downloads and then I can also use these arrows to simply go back in time. The date here lets me know what date the backup is. So let's say that I'd like to recover this recipe that I downloaded. I simply click on it and hit restore. Now my computer is going to ask me, do you want to keep the original, keep both, or replace? And in this case, I'm going to say replace. That's the version of the recipe that I want, but you could certainly hit keep both if you would like. 
All right, let's go back to Time Machine one more time, and there's a couple of cool features that I'd like to show you before we conclude. So just like I recovered one file, you can actually recover more than one file. To do so, simply select the folder that you'd like to find the file in, go back in time, and then I'm gonna use Command and click to select more than one file. All right, I've got this selected. I'll hit restore and they'll all be back. Now you may be wondering, how can I make sure that this is actually working? At any point, click on that time machine icon and you can see right here, the backup is in progress. Once a backup is completed, this will be replaced by a date and it'll let you know the last time your backup was completed. Another nice feature is occasionally, if it's been more than maybe four or five days, your computer will remind you to backup as well. All right, well, those are all the tips and tricks I have for you today. If this video was helpful, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe. I release a new video every week and I'll see you next time.